good morning meet again with me may nurusmiati have you all had breakfast before studying yes that's great before starting the lesson let's pray first start praying pray please okay they i want to check attendance first regina is present present ma'am okay siti aisa is present present ma'am Okay, it's great that everyone is here. So children, before learning, let's do a speaking first. Okay, the speaking this time is a spirit pet. I will give an example and you guys follow it. Spirit pet. Hoo-ha, hoo-ha. Hoo-ha. Yay. How you can be more excited now and not sleepy anymore? Alright friends, let's start the lesson. The previous week we discussed the story entitled Princess Elisa. Do you remember the story? Still ma'am. Okay, today we will learn speaking skills. So, do you know what is speaking means? Yes, can know ma'am. Speaking means talking ma'am. Wow, that's right. Why do we have to learn speaking? The reason is that we are skilled in speaking English. All of you must always be enthusiastic about learning because in order to be a good child and smart. Okay, let's start the lesson. But before that, I will explain the process of learning activities today. So that you are more enthusiastic to learn speaking, then we will Play a role, yay! So, how do you play it? First, I will give an example for you. The second, I will appoint one student in turn to play the game. Then you have the opportunity to choose three numbers containing the text that you will play. Then I and other friend will comment your your experience. And later, there will be a chocolate fries that you can take with offline school for the best two people. Are you ready? Ready, ma'am. Okay, children, let's start. Now you guys reopen the Princess Elisa story in the PDF file that I gave you earlier. So then you analyze or pay close attention to every expression in each part of the story. I will give you five minutes to reread the story. Okay, start. Finish. Have you imagined? No, ma'am. <laughs> okay, it's okay. We are all learning together. Right? Now, I will give you an example first. Elisa, can I have some the chocolate? Alia said. No, this chocolate is mine. No one can add it but me. Elisa and Sword will continue to devour the chocolate that filled her mood. Okay, so children, do you understand? Understand, ma'am. Good. Now, I will appoint the first person who will start the game. Hmm. Regina, please. Okay, let's greet Regina. Give everyone a round of applause. Yay! Out of 10, I will give... 9 points to Regina because her expression is very good and her pronunciation is clear. Yay! How about other friends? Do you agree? Agree, ma'am. Oh, great. Now we start the game to the next person. Yes, the game is over. How about the children playing? Isn't it fun? Exclaim it, ma'am. Okay, we will play again another time, yeah? Now it's time to work on the text. Yay! I will send a link to the text that you have to do for 15 minutes. If it finishes, just send it to WhatsApp group, okay? Are you ready? Ready, ma'am. Okay, the work time starts from now on. You don't need to leave the Zoom room. And please just unmic and on cam. Okay. Are you done, children? Don't forget to send it to the WhatsApp group. And there's only 5 minutes left. Done. Time is up guys, hooray, good work children, now let's talk about it together. The first question, what picture is this? Doll! Wow, that's right, the answer is a doll. 
Then the second question, what victor is this? Basketball. Good answer is basketball. And question three, what victor is this? Barbie doll. Next, like the answer is Barbie doll. Hooray! You are very smart. Don't forget to pronounce the question correctly that you have it in the question. You are all great. I will check the results of all of your achievement after the lesson is over, okay? Now study time is running out. How was today's lesson? Was it fun? It's so much fun, ma'am. Okay, thanks. Are you guys still having trouble playing the role? Yes, ma'am. I still have a hard time pronouncing the English word. Oh, it's okay, children. If you practice diligently, then you will get used to it and be able to pronounce every English word well. So you guys don't forget to always practice to learn English. Yes, you can watch with videos on YouTube or even read story books that is English. So I'm sure that all of your students will be smart children. Okay, do not be distorted. Well then, is there anything else you want to ask about today's lesson? No, ma'am. Okay, great. Then I will give a conclusion from all learning activities today. Learning speaking is a fun thing if we enjoy each process with. Always practice and read all your favorite books to increase your vocabulary. Thank you to the children who are very enthusiastic and very active in participating in today's learning. I give big love to all of you. Hooray! Study time is up. Let's play together before closing today's lesson. Right start. Right finish. Okay, see you children. Always be happy. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you. See you too, ma'am. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me introduce myself. My name is Siti Syahnul Fatimah. Here, I will do the practice of learning English in grade 3 elementary school. The material taken is sourced from the ebook that we have made. Hello! Good morning, guys! How are you today? I hope it's well. But, before starting the lesson, it would be better if we pray first. Praying according to their respective beliefs begin. Pray penis. Now, I will check attendance first. Everyone is present, right? Well, for today's lesson, we will hear and read a story with the title Princess Elisa. Try again. What is the title of the story to be read? But before starting the story, let's sing a BC song together. Begin. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U P W X Y N G. Now I know my A B C. Next time you wanna sing with me. Good! Now I will show and read the story. You listen and follow reading in your heart. Okay? Let's start the story! Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful princess named Elisa. She has red hair with a ribbon on top of her head which looks very beautiful. One day, Elisa got a very large gift of chocolate from her uncle. Elisa felt very happy and ate all the chocolate without stopping. Suddenly, Alia, who is Elisa's best friend, came to invite her to play together. However, Elisa prefers to eat the chocolate and ignores Alia, who has come to meet her. Elisa. Can I have some the chocolate? said Alia. No, this chocolate is mine. No one can add it but me. Elisa answered while continuing to devour the chocolate that filled her mouth. I just want to taste it a little, please, said Alia. I told you no. This is 
my chocolate. It's mine and only mine. I don't want to share it with anyone. If you want, buy it yourself. Alia left Elisa alone with feeling disappointment. Hmm, yum 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 yum. Elisa ate the chocolate. Finally, the sound was replaced with darkness that came. However, Elisa continued to eat her chocolate without stopping. Even when her mother came to warn her to brush her teeth, Elisa disobeyed and said that she still wanted to enjoy the very delicious chocolate. Elisa dear, you can add that chocolate again tomorrow. Now brush your teeth and go to sleep, said mom. No, I still wanted to add the chocolate, said Elisa. Okay, but before went to bed, don't forget to brush your teeth or you will have a toothache, said mom. But Elisa ignored her and continued at. Finally, she fell asleep with the chocolate still filling her mouth. Ah! In the morning, Elisa woke up from her sleep and immediately screamed in pain. Elisa's mother ran to Elisa, who has morning in pain. Elisa's brown clad teeth hurt so much, she even cried nonstop. What's wrong, Elisa? Why are you crying like this? said Alia. I have a toothache. It seems because I ate too much chocolate, said Elisa. Don't cry anymore. I brought medicine for you. Don't forget to always brush your teeth before went to bed so that your teeth won't hurt anymore. Thank you, Alia. You are my best friend. Elisa hugged Alia and they play together again. Elisa also gave a lot of chocolate to Alia and other friends. Elisa deeply regretted her action and promised not to do it again. From what you have read, what are the moral values that we can take from the story? The moral value that we can take from the story is Sharing is the most beautiful thing and don't forget to brush your teeth to make your day more beautiful. Is there anything you want to ask about the story? Now, I will ask you from the story who has a toothache, Elisa or Alia. What is the cause of a toothache? Too much at bread or too much at chocolate. Then, what should be done to avoid toothache? Always brush your teeth before sleep or add the chocolate before sleep. You are all very great, able to answer all questions from me. Besides that, I have worksheet for you to work on. I will give you time to work on. Then we will match the answer together. Well, today's learning is sufficient. Thank you for your attention and participation. See you again. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone! Good morning, ma'am! How are you today? Fine, fine, ma'am! Alhamdulillah, you are all healthy! Before starting today's lesson, we should pray first. Pray again. Pray finish. I will absent first. May. Present, ma'am! Siti. Present, ma'am! Okay, all in. Before we start the lesson, let's start singing together first. Do you still remember the three bell song? Yes, ma'am. That's good. Let's sing it together. Look, there's three bears all in the 
same house. Father Bear, Mother Bear, Little Bear. Father Bear is very fat. Mother Bear is very slim. Little Bear is so cute I could die. What a happy family. Look, there is three bears all in the same house. Father Bear, Mother Bear, Little Bear. Father Bear is very fat. Mother Bear is very slim. Little Bear is so cute I could die. What a happy family! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's just start to this learning. Previously, I want to ask you, are you have a best friend in this class? Yes, ma'am. Wow, that's great. So, if you have something more, you will share it with your best friends? Of course, ma'am. That's great. If we have something more, we should share it with anyone. Now, our learning material today is based on a storybook entitled Princess Alisa. There are several characters in this story, including This is Elisa. She is a beautiful princess and so sociable. This is Alia. She is a kind and loving princess. She is a best friend of Princess Elisa. This is Elisa's mother, and this is Elisa's uncle. Student, please listen the story carefully. I will give you some questions about this story, so listen carefully. Okay, now let's get into the lesson. Today we will learn to write nouns. I will show you some picture and you write the name of the thing in your book. Okay, let's get started. First question. This is where Elisa lived. What's the name of this building? Castle, ma'am. It's true that this building is called castle. Word writing is castle like this well, can spell c a s t l e next question this is the food that makes elisa's to take what food it is chocolate ma'am yeah that's true this is chocolate because there are many chocolate or more than one, you must add the letter S after the noun. So the correct writing is chocolates. You can spell C H O C O L A T E S. Okay, last question. This thing is worn by Elisa on her head. This thing is very shiny. What is this thing? That's crown, ma'am. That's right. This is the crown. Royal princesses usually use the crown as a sign the sh that she is royalty. The correct uh, the correct writing is crown, like this. You can spell C R. O W N. You are also good. Because the time is up, as a gift from ma'am. Ma'am will give you the task of arranging the letter into a word. Of course, it still relates to Princess Elsa's story earlier. This assignment is uh, due next week. Don't forget to do it. Okay, before I end today's lesson, let's pray together. Pray begin. Finished. 
Tasminah Omi Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh